Hey guys, Jason Guyman here. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to test a solenoid. Um, we had one of our guys come back, cut all the wires, and I rewired it all up and it still ain't working. It must be the motor. Just because the solenoid's clicking don't mean it's working. And so that's what I want to show you today of how to test it and different ways you can test it. But, so first off, um, this is the solenoid right here, the black thing. Um, I really don't like these solenoids. I like the um, Cole Hershey's a lot better. Um, they work a lot better. I don't have near as much problems out of them as these I do. Um, but uh, with that being said, um, I'll put the link down below of the Cole Hershey one. So just because it clicks, don't mean it working. So what I like to do is, is get a set of jumper cables or something like that. You can actually get you a small wire um, with a clip on and clip it onto the hot and then you can just touch it there. But I'll just show you here with a pair of jumper cables. Um, I actually hooked my jumper cables up to my battery over here so I know that I have a good ground and a good positive. So the first thing I can test to see if it is my power coming over to it is I can take the jumper cable and hook onto the positive right there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that very good. But I'm hooked onto the positive. Still not working, still clicking. The next thing I can do is make sure you're careful. You, because um, once this thing starts spinning, you don't want to be caught in the middle of it. So. What I'm going to do next is, is I'm going to the back other side of it, and I'm going to touch it. And guess what? It's working. It tells me my solenoid's bad. Um, the only other test I would do is, is what I did is, is make sure it's getting a good ground. Because sometimes if they're not getting a good ground, so I can take my jumper cables, ground it to the top of it, which that's the ground side of it, and then my thing still clicking. So, um, just some easy little thing to do to test it, um, to make sure that it is working properly. And uh, just, like I say, um, don't always just assume it's the motor because the solenoid isn't working. Um, always test it, and that's just an easy way to test it. Um, the guy's like, it's the motor, it's the motor. It's not the motor, it's the solenoid. Always go with the easiest thing to the cheapest thing. That's usually the problem. But hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, please ask below and uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks.